Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading. And this is going to be for uh, Aries. For the end of your February going into March, uh, we're going to take a look at your current overall energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current truth, feelings, and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. What else do you guys need to know? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, let's see. Also, uh, keep in mind that you could apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the rules if you want. Um, what else? If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Also, um, keep in mind that these are messages for the collective Aries, okay? I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Um, I'm tapping into the collective Aries. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link is in the description box below. Um, and uh, let's get started. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, okay? All right, what messages do we have for Aries? regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. For the end of February, I mean to March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs for Aries. Over energy for Aries regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then the Five of Cups. Seems like someone here is making a plan to come back. Okay. Whoever this person is, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Someone here is making plans to come back to work things out here with you. Okay, so you could have had, a, had an argument, maybe had a fight here. Uh, perhaps this person, you know, was really disengaged from this relationship. This person perhaps didn't put any sort of effort into this connection because maybe this person was working a lot. Maybe this person just didn't make time for you. Okay, maybe this person was always running away. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I thought this was the King of Pentacles, but this is Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Someone here is coming back with an apology, coming back with some regret here of how they treated you. Perhaps this individual kept a lot of secrets from you. We have the moon on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, past, uh, past uh, present, or future. Um, you could have those energies in your chart too, Aries. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I feel like you might have been dealing with the runner here. Three of Pentacles. You got the High Priestess. You know, I feel like someone here is definitely making a plan to sneak back into your life. Uh, cancer, Pisces energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like this person kept their uh, kept a lot of secrets from you. Kept in um, basically uh, kept their feelings to themselves too about how they truly feel about you because it seems like this person loves you. Okay, uh, seems like there is mutual love between you two, but this person doesn't really uh, express it. Uh, four of Swords. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. You see, I feel like this person disengaged because this person was focused on their work. Seems like this person, you know, maybe every time you spoke with this person, it was always work-related stuff. Um, eight of, uh, two of cups. Oh, you have the two of cups and the emperor. Aries, there you are right here. You could be dealing with another Aries. 
Seems like we have someone here that was not really open with their feelings. Okay. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. You know, the Seven of Wands. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's rushing back to apologize to overcome the setback that, that they've created here. Five of Cups. You know, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is telling me that this person's making a decisive decision here to come towards you. Okay. Um... Yeah, maybe this person was kind of going back and forth, whether to pursue this or not, whether to open up to you. I do feel like this individual has a hard time being vulnerable. Um, right, let's see. Tell me about Aries' this person. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of February going into March. What does Aries need to know about their person here? Aries, this could be you right here. But like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. All right, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, we have the Empress here. You see, okay. So, Aries, like I said, you could place yourself where you see fit. We have the Emperor here, and then we have the Empress in the reverse. Someone here is not interested in talking. Someone here is not interested in an, ap in an apology. I feel like this Empress wants nothing to do with this Emperor, okay? Um, there is a strong soul tie here uh, with the Empress and the Empress, and then we have the Two of Cups. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Four of Wands. You guys definitely have some sort of strong soul tie. We have the Four of Wands here and the Hierophant. So Taurus energy. You guys could have been married at one point. But I feel like what this Empress really wants is someone that is going to, you know, be around, okay? Uh, someone here who's reliable, okay? Someone here who makes time for this Empress. Um, we have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords. So this is telling me that I feel like this feminine energy just wants to go off and have a new beginning here for themselves. Okay? Some of you guys might practice artwork or something like that. But I just feel like <clears throat> this feminine energy, they basically have their guard and their boundaries up. I just feel like this Empress doesn't want an apology. This Empress does not want to talk, okay? Um, tell me about the Page of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, uh, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Page of Cups, the Empress in the reverse. We have the Tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy, more Aries, Scorpio energy here in the Seven of Cups. You know, I feel like this Empress didn't want to deal with the c confusion anymore. You know, I feel like, you know, this emperor is about to be very, very shocked when this empress rejects this emperor's offer, okay? Four of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like this uh, empress is tired of being confused, tired of feeling alone. You know, tired of someone here walking out on them, okay? Tell me about this Hierophant. We have the like Knight of Wands. Yeah, tired of it, the, the inconsistency, tired of the false promises here. It's like, I feel like you were dealing with someone, Aries, or this could be you, like I said. Uh, you could have been dealing with someone here that flakes out on their own plans. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands here. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like this Empress slash Queen is just better off or looking for what they're looking for somewhere else. Perhaps even the Ten of Cups is just focusing on, on their own happiness here. Uh, yeah, Queen, uh, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like this, um, uh, this Empress slash Queen is just moving on from this, okay? I mean, you could be traveling, uh this month or uh, in March, so perhaps taking time out for yourself. You know, yeah, I just feel like December is going to be really shocked and it's going to be, unex it's going to be 
kind of unexpected for them that you would, you know, reject them and not accept them back. <clears throat> Alpha and advice here for Aries regarding your love situation for the end of February, going into March. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What else does Aries need to know regarding your love situation here? We have the Strength card and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this Empress is building the courage or gaining the courage to break free of this situation that they've been in with this Emperor here. Okay, Leo energy could be dealing with a Leo. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, there you are right here. I feel like you're this feminine energy. But like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. You could be this uh, Emperor here. So Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the th Ace of Swords here. Okay. You know, I just feel like you're already pretty clear about this person's behavior or that you're... You're accepting, you know, what this person's about here, okay? Because they've shown you time and time again. And at the Six of Swords, we have the King of Cups. You could be moving on to new love here, perhaps. Maybe you found someone else, okay? Maybe there's someone else that you're interested in here uh, with the King of Cups. Tell me about the Strength card. We have the Page of Wands. Eight of Swords in reverse and a Ten of Swords here. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, I feel like you're gaining the courage to walk away from someone. I feel like you're gaining the courage to walk away from someone here who's incredibly immature, maybe. Okay, Ten of Swords. I feel like every time you called uh, called uh, out this person, you know, not spending time with you or, you know, whatever that may be, I feel like this person was um, throwing temper tantrums. Okay, uh, Queen of Wands. Justice, Ace of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Justice, Libra energy. Could be dealing with the Libra here. We have the Five of Wands. So I feel like you're breaking free from this. I feel like you're breaking free from the drama. I feel like you're cutting it out. You know, I just feel like you're just accepting. I'm sorry. You're just accepting that you can't change this person or that you can't make this person do something that they're not ready to do. Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. We have the King to Queen of Cups. You're moving on. Let's see. King of Cups here. And the Ace of Cups. As you're moving on, I feel like this person might have a hard time releasing you. But you could be moving on to new love here too. Or that this masculine energy, this emperor slash king, is very much in love with you and they're having a hard time letting go. You know, I just feel like you're accepting the fact that you can't change change this person. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, you can't change this person and you're just moving on. Okay? So Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.